Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's going to be another DIY tutorial. But this time, it's not from Shein, it's from Shopee. So I saw this top, it's this one. And this is the inspo pic for the top that I'm wearing right now. So I saw that picture and then I wanted the top part, this part, just looks so cute. And yeah, I decided to make one for myself. So as you can see, it has like a ribbed fabric, but for this top, I will be using a satin fabric. So before I forget to start the tutorial, make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. And also hit that notification bell down below so that you wouldn't miss any of my new videos. And let's get started. So to make this top, you will need three measurements. First is your underbus measurement. Next is the highest point of your top, which is 2 inches above your armpit. And then the last one is the lowest part of your neckline, which is an inch below your armpit. So as you can see over here, I'm just measuring it to make sure. Now over here, we have the pattern for the top piece of our top. This is my underbus measurement. Now for my underbus measurement, mine is 32 inches divided into 2. So it's 16. So 16 divided into 2 again, which gives us 8 inches. So we need two pieces of these, one for the left and then one for the right side of our top. And then over here, this is the lowest part of our top. This is the center, by the way. And then this one, this is the side near the armpit. So this is 8 and a half inches. This is 2 inches above the armpit. And then for the lowest part, this is an inch below the armpit. So for these two, it could be a lot different depending on how long your torso is. Now for our waistband, this is the distance between my underbust to my waist, which is 4 inches. And then this is 10 and a half inches. So this is cut and fold. So when you unfold the waistband, it's going to give you 21 inches long. And you will need two pieces for the waistband. Now for the halter of our top, you will need four pieces of these, two for the left side and two for the right side. Now over here, I just transferred our pattern onto our fabric. Yeah, we have um, two pieces for the left side and two pieces for the right side. As you can see, this is on fold like that. And then this is one of the waistband. So it's on fold as well. We have the other piece of our waistband. This is also on fold, as you can see. And then these two are our garterized back. So these two are 4 inches wide and 15 inches long. And it's also on fold. So it should be 30 inches long when you open it up. So this is what it looks like after we have cut out our pattern. So we have the left piece and the right piece. We also have the front piece of our waistband and the back piece of our waistband. So each of these has two pieces each, as you can see. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to align your pieces of fabric. Make sure that they are facing right sides together like so. And then we're just going to sew a straight stitch around the edges over here. We're not going to touch the bottom part. We're going to leave that for later. So we're going to do this for both pieces of our top. So this is what it looks like after we have sewn on the sides and this is our straight stitch. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to cut out the corners over here, 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 and here. And then we're going to flip it right side out. So after flipping it right side out and ironing it flat, it should look something like this. Now what we're going to do next is you're going to draw a half an inch line over here at the top for both pieces and this will be the casing for our string. We're just going to sew on a straight stitch onto this line and then we're going to make a hole on the sides over here and over here. Now this is what it looks like after we have made the casing and I already made a hole on both sides of the fabric. And then I just did the same thing on the other piece. What you're going to do next is you're going to take the front piece of your waistband. So it's this one. This is the 21 inches long. And you're going to sandwich the top 
both two pieces in between our waistband and then make sure that the edges is aligned and what we're going to do here is just we're going to sew a straight stitch as close to the edge as possible to connect this piece to the waistband now this is what it looks like after attaching it to our waistband and i already ironed it flat so you'd want to open your waistband like so and then these top pieces you would want to put it like this fold it like that and then you're going to flip your waistband inside out like so so everything should be inside our waistband make sure that nothing gets caught in between and then what we're gonna do here is just we're going to sew a straight stitch all around our waistband but in the middle over here we're going to leave a small gap so that we can still flip this right side out so after sewing it should look something like this this is our side and this is the edges and over here we have the small gap now what we're going to do next is we're going to flip this right side out now this is what our top looks like after we have flipped it right side out and ironed it flat and over here i already sewed our gap shut so now what we're going to do next is the garterize back of our top you'd want your fabric to be placed right sides together and as you can see, I already did mine and pinned it in place. So this is right sides together, like so. Make sure that it is aligned. And then what we're going to do here is just we're going to sew a straight stitch all around the edges over here. But on one side, this one, we're going to leave a small gap so that we can flip this right side out. So after flipping it right side out and ironing it flat, it should look something like this so this is what it looks like and then we have here on the other side the gap now what you're gonna do next is you want to draw some lines you want it to be one inch thick so as you can see we have here our two lines and these three are one inch thick these three will be the casings for our elastic we're just going to draw a straight stitch onto these lines so after sewing on the straight stitch it should look something like this so we have here our three casings and i already made a hole on the sides over here so that our elastic can go through now what you're gonna do next is you're going to take your elastic this is an inch thick of elastic you're going to put a safety pin on one end and fish it through the hole one by one making sure that the end over here is secure so that when you pull it on the other side it wouldn't come off now this is what it looks like after we have fished through all of our elastic and secured it in place so this is the side of it it's already quite butchered as you can see now what we're gonna do next is we're going to attach this onto our top so we're just going to sew the sides together like so put this part in front of our front piece and then sew a straight stitch or an overlap stitch here to secure it in place then on the other side we're just going to do the same thing now this is what our top looks like after sewing on our elastic back so this is what it looks like at the back and then this is what it looks like at the front so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to fish our string onto our top casings over here now after fishing through our string it should look something like this and this is our finish top so as you can see i fished the string through one end over here to here and then connect it in the middle like so and pass it through here now we're just going to wash this and then we'll move on to our try on portion so this is what our finish top looks like it's really cute and as you can see we have here our drawstring halter neckline we have a hole here in the middle, it's like a keyhole design. And then we have the waistband on the front and an elastic back. Now for the back part of our top, I was too lazy to make, you know, those really thin elastic back. And yeah, I just decided to make a really thick one. And personally, I think it looks a lot better this way. So for those of you who are going to make this top and you're using a ribbed fabric or a spandex fabric, 
or any kind of fabric that has a lot of stretch to it you don't necessarily need to make the back part of this top like the elastic back you don't need to make that because your fabric already has a lot of stretch to it so it's gonna fit you anyway but if you are using a fabric that doesn't have a stretch to it like for example the satin fabric or linen or cotton um, you need to make the elastic back or else you wouldn't be able to put on the top guys so yeah that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed watching this this is a really easy top to make and it looks super cute as well see that so if you like it please hit like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell down below so that you wouldn't miss any of my new videos and i'll see you guys in the next DIY tutorial bye